Okay, in this video we are going to discuss how to solve word problems using point-slope form of a line. And here's our example that we're dealing with first. We say that Paul wants to place an ad in the newspaper. The newspaper charges $10 for the first two lines and then $3 for each additional line of text. And so we want to first write an equation in point-slope form that describes the equation. And so an important first thing to do in these problems is identify your variable. Uh, what's our independent variable and what's our dependent variable? And in this situation, our independent variable is going to be the number of lines and our dependent variable is going to be the cost because the cost is going to depend on the number of lines you use uh, in your ad. Obviously a longer line or a longer ad that takes up more lines is going to cost more in the newspaper. So um, that means that this is going to be our x, and this is going to be our y. So if we begin, um, we know that point-slope form of a line is y minus y1, and that's equal to your slope times x minus x1, okay? And that's with x1 and y1, that's a point on the line, and that's with m being your slope. So our point on the line in this case is, if x is our number of lines, this is the information that gives us um, our point on the line. It says that if x is the number of lines, that x is 2, and when x is 2, y is 10, because our cost is $10 when we do two lines. That cost depends on those two lines. And then our m, our slope in this case, is going to be the 3, because slope is just like our rate of change. And the rate of change here is 3. For each additional line, it goes up by $3. That's what it, how it's changing. So if I just substitute these values into my equation, y minus my y value equals my slope times x minus my x value. And that is your point-slope form of the line. Now, to find the cost of an ad that has 8 lines, okay, we can use this equation to do that. If I, and I'm not going to use my colors anymore now that we've filled out our equation. If I have y minus 10 equals 3 times the quantity of x minus 2, they tell us 8 lines. Well, our number of lines, if, if we look up back up here, that's an x value. So all I have to do, if 8 is an x value, is substitute 8 into this equation and then solve for y, solve for the cost. So if I distribute... I get that y minus 10 equals, let's see, 3 times 8 is 24, and actually I don't even really have to distribute there. Let's back up. I can work side in, inside my parentheses first and just get 3 times 6, which is 18. So we have that y minus 10 equals 18. And then if I come over here, I just got to use inverse operations to solve for y and I get that y is 28. And keep in mind what this means. That means if I want to take out an eight line ad, that it's gonna cost $28. In other words, the ordered pair 828 would be a point on this line if we were to graph it. So I'll even put our little notes next to it. Eight lines, $28. We always need to be keeping in mind what these things actually mean. What do these numbers mean in this situation? All right, we got a few more examples. Let's keep going. And so Paul decides he wants to shop around for the best price. A different newspaper charges 14 for the first three lines and then $2 for each line after that. So now we're writing this equation in point-slope form. Remember, we got the same independent variable and dependent variable as last time. So um, our independent variable is the number of lines. I'll bring that back. And that's our x value. And our dependent variable is the cost, and that's our y value. So if it's 14 for the first three lines, that means when x is 3, y is 14. When the number of lines is 3, the cost is $14. But then it's $2 for each, 
for each line after that. So that means our slope or our rate of change is 2. If we come back to our point-slope form of a line, we can write this equation in point-slope form. So we just have to remember that this given point is our x1 and our y1, and that this is our m value or our slope. So we've got y minus my y value of 14 from the ordered pair that we were given equals our slope, $2 per line, times x minus x1, which is our 3. And so if we bring that down, y minus 14 equals 2 times x minus 3. Will this place be cheaper for an 8-line add? How do you know? Well, we can just work out this equation when x is 8. Because remember, the number of lines is our x, or our dependent variable, as we pointed out over here. So let's just do this the same way we did the other one. We know that y minus 14 equals 2 times, and if I want to be color-coded, my x is 8 minus 3. So my left side equation stays the same, and I can simplify inside my parentheses. And now we just got some arithmetic. Let's use some inverse operations to solve. Oops. I was already answering it in my head. Let me back up a little bit. If I see a minus 14, I'm going to add 14 to each side to isolate the y. And I get that y is 24. In other words, the ordered pair 8, 24 is on this line. So for eight lines, it costs us $24. Now, we were wanting to answer, will this place be cheaper? And the answer is yes, because if you remember back to that previous slide, uh, for them, for eight lines, it was, I believe, $28. Here for eight lines, it's $24. So um, I know we may not might not be used to using point-slope form of a line to solve word problems, but um, if you do get to where you're somewhat fluent with it, it can be just as easy and just as natural as using slope-intercept form. So hopefully by the end of this video, you are able to use point-slope form to solve problems.